I've been working on gridfinity population of stuff like these drill bits will go in these organizers here. Yes, these are also gridfinity. But the bases, you know, you need to print a lot of bases and printing one at a time, they take 25 minutes to print. But I'm not always down here, so I wonder if I, there's a way to put many of them in the printer at once. <clears throat> so let's see. I have stacked these. This is uh, my own design of um, Gridfinity base plate. And I stacked them with, uh, I think, a single layer between them as a gap. So pulling it off. Now, let's see if this will separate. This is an experiment, so if it doesn't work, I'll not be out a whole lot of plastic. Although I realize I could have done a smaller base plate than a 5x5 five five as an experiment. And yes, this is on the X1 carbon. This is a, a tough PLA. Yes, I know it's out of focus. I'm too close, but I don't have a tripod set up. All right. So, so there's that one pulled off. Um, sorry, I don't have really good light here. And that looks mm, not great. There's like a little defect there and there, but it looks serviceable. So this one was, uh, you could say, tip to tip. And then this one is back to back, and we'll see if this separates as easily. It started. It started right there. So this has a lot more contact area holding it together, and going off of this, I don't think that it's a, a worthwhile way to do it. And so this one basically is scrap. And it's essentially the middle one. I'm just trying to separate the rest of it. And I think that the this top this is the top piece. The one that was back to back. Um, it's got a lot of stuff still attached. I think it'd be salvageable. The the middle one at least. If I was able to remove those pieces that are stuck on. Because otherwise, you know, this is perfectly fine version. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed this uh, little video of my blurry feet, and in case you were wondering, I don't know if this is upside down or if this is upside down because I forget how I was holding the camera. It's probably like this. There's the dirty bottom of my 3D printer, for those who care. <laughs>